What's up, Kipto here. I'm out here in Southern Los Angeles at a place called International Aero. They manufacture cleaning products for cars and airplanes and stuff like that. The owner reached out to me about doing a really banging wall on this whole side of the wall right here. They want to make it really cool for taking pictures with their cars and just jazzing up the place a bit. And it's kind of separated into three big chunks right here. So each chunk is going to have its own theme for it, but they're all still kind of connected like a fold out comic book or something like that. So I'm excited. Let's tackle this baby. Oh yeah, did I mention the owner is a supercar collector? You better believe I'm gonna be riding shotgun in that bad boy at the end of this mural. A little reward for my hard work. So, let's get started. First, I'm gonna bang out these outlines and then start filling in all the shapes with the background colors to get a nice feel for the piece as a whole. All right, day one, that's a wrap. I got a bunch of the fills in here. Got those colors smashing together, looking good. Lots of twists and turns and twirly do's and lots of cool stuff going on. So tomorrow's gonna be a fun day. All right, it's day number two. Gonna do some badass reds here. Gonna fill in some of this extra stuff right here. Gonna make it pop and then we're gonna start doing the details. So let's keep going with this red. We got those fills locked in place. Time for a little spray action, baby. Thank you. That horse looks real. Looks good. Yeah, thanks. Alright, this horse is coming out pretty dope. I like it so far. We got this horsepower powering through over here on the right. And then in the middle, it's kind of like a spinning wheel with an explosion of energy and dust and like burnout coming through at the bottom there. This next section here is like the front of an old car, a photograph that I took and I warped it to give it a wonky vibe and fit my composition here. And I'm excited to tackle that front with the headlights and the chrome fender and everything like that. So let's do it. All right, I think that's it for day number two. Got a little bit done here in the middle. Got those shapes kind of locked in there and I'm gonna be doing a lot more detailing tomorrow and figure out all the correct values and, and tones and all that cool stuff like that. This blue was not where I wanted it to be, so I mixed a new color and painted over it with the buff. Then I started adding those mid to light colors on the red car and started to make that come to life. 
All right, it's about time I fix this uh, plane engine circle in the middle here. I'm gonna put some string in the middle, do a nice perfect circle, and then we'll uh, finally get that thing squared away. Or circled away. Now, I know what you're thinking. Kipto, that's totally not the middle of the circle. Well, I wanted the propellers to be sticking out in perspective, kind of coming out of the wall, so they have some weight to them instead of being plopped right in the center perfectly, if that makes sense. Now, I wanted to tackle this main engine part with these three colors, or values in color form, basically. I sketched out each engine part and then slowly built up the volumes with the next step of the value scale. It's a really quick and easy way to flesh out these mechanical elements that are coming out of the dark hood of the engine. After the sprays were done, I hit it with another light color and mixed with the buff to add one more layer of light hitting the parts coming forward. All right, that turbine's looking pretty rad. The uh, car parts and the airplane parts took a little bit longer than I anticipated, but I'm not used to doing a lot of machinery like this, but I'm getting the hang of it, getting good at it. Wow, much wall, very art, super dope. But how does my client reach me and know that I'm the real deal? Well, it all starts with a banging website. And what better way to start off the new year with a new kick-ass website using Zyro. Zyro is the best place to go for all your website building needs. Don't know where to start? Easy. They got tons of templates right at your fingertips, ready to go, so you don't have to start from scratch. You can just build on top of what they've already created with these beautiful templates, whether it be a portfolio site or a product page or anything in between. Don't know how to code? Neither do I, but almost everything is customizable to fit your taste. Don't have a lot of money? No problem. Zyro is the most affordable website builder on the market, just waiting for you to snag all these tools at your disposal, building your website for the best deals on the internet. Don't know anything? Well, I can't help you with that, but Zyro can help you with any questions or concerns that you have with their 24 seven customer support. And the new year is the best time to start that online shop you've been waiting to try out. And Zyro makes it super easy to start any e-commerce options to start selling your work right away. So what are you waiting for? Now is a perfect time to jumpstart that beautiful website you've been dreaming of. And Zyro is here to help you off the ground with a special new year's discount plus a custom domain and four months free with any yearly plan. Use the link in my description or head to zyro.com slash kipto or just use my coupon code kipto at checkout for that spicy discount. Let's start building this website, baby. Thanks to Zyro for sponsoring this video. Back to the mural. All right, we're out here. We're gonna bang out this side here. It's gonna be like a wheel, like a hubcap of this same kind of old style car here. Warped and add all these colors and shapes and it's gonna be a little more abstract. Let's get a little funk a funk. Okay, now that most of this side is laid out, I'm going to mix a new color to add some effects on top to tie the entire mural together. Big long streaks are done. Now it's time to add those final details and highlights to make this piece really pop.
All right, John, we finished the mural. What do you think? I think it looks amazing. Hell yeah. Banged out a really good piece here. I think it's gonna work well for your, your pictures. It's like a cool backdrop for all your cars and your products. The neighbors in the complex have already been commenting how amazing it looks as well. So yeah, you did a spectacular job as always. What's your what's your favorite part? The engine? Uh, you know what? I like it all. I love it all. I love the detail. I love the action. I love the the complexity of everything. It just it looks three dimensional. It's popping. Yes, yeah. fantastic. Awesome. I like to, every new piece, I like to try something new and then something sticks on the last one and, and keep going. So I'm happy with it as well. So turned out beautiful. Yeah. Appreciate your business and I look forward to seeing all the pictures from this, this spot right here. You'll, you'll see tons. Yeah. You'll see lots and lots of photos with uh, lots of really cool cars in front of us. I believe it. Image. So awesome. thank you. Thank, thank you for you. everything. I think we accomplished what we set out to do. We got three different sections here, all kind of got their own flair to it, but they're all still connected. And so I really liked having this horsepower as like the leader of this mural here, charging forward. I'm hearing this explosion of energy and the skid marks, and really showing it taking off like that. This is based on a 1955 Studebaker. A uh, really fun car to paint. And then of course, boom, we got this nine engine propeller. And I'm not used to painting machinery, but I think this really came out pretty dope. I think it's a really cool centerpiece anchor the whole thing together from over there with the horse with that teal line coming through the background connecting over here woo, and then swooping in and connecting over there to bring your eye back around the hubcaps with all these colors and giving it the cool three-dimensional look combined with that flat 2d colors on top a push and pull back and forth which i really like and each section has their own vibe to it so whatever photos he wants to take his cars in front of you can have a different look and a style I like taking different parts of my previous murals that I've done, like different styles, and then adding something new to each one. And I think that's a cool way to progress and like develop your style and like keep things interesting for myself is uh, trying new things every time and then keeping stuff that works and moving forward that way uh, stylistically and artistically. I think that's a, this is a fun way to work. If you want some behind the scenes content and for me to show you how I develop this mural here from start to finish in the sketch in Photoshop, then join my Patreon. We have a cool community getting built over there. If you want to head to Kipto.com, I got t-shirts, I got sticker packs, I got prints, I got all sorts of cool stuff to spark your fancy. All right, the mural is finished. I've had my eyes on this McLaren the whole week. John's gonna take me out for a little spin. Let's do it. <laughs> the handle on this thing. Ten miles an hour feels like 60 from a regular car. Well, my car starts shaking at like 75. It <laughs> starts to settle in about one ten. he'd ever gone in this car. He said about 140, 150 was the fastest in this one. Then he said he pushed his Lamborghini as fast as he could bear, going 190 miles an hour. Funny. Everyone on the highway races up to us to catch a glimpse and get their phones out to take photos. It feels cool to be on the inside of one of these on the receiving end of those photos. He just said there's only 220 of these cars in the world and there's only six with this specific paint job. He's got one. All right, thank you for the ride, sir. Oh. 
That's a hot car right there. And now he's got a custom Kipto mural to boot. Keep feeding that kinetic imagination, and thanks for watching.